Ann along I-96 near Lansing, Michigan. She's been singing since she was in high school in the late 40s. A few years later, Patti Page soared to the top of the record charts with a hit song, Tennessee Waltz. I was dancing with my darling. The recording of that song sold more than 100 million copies, making it the second biggest selling record of all time. November marks the 40th anniversary of Tennessee Waltz. Joining us from New York to look back at her greatest hit and ahead to the future is the biggest selling female vocalist of all time, Patti Page. Patti, it has been 20 years since your last hit, but you're still a household name. Everybody knows who you are. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you up nice. to? Still doing the same thing, Cheryl, just working. I and never retired. And uh, we're just working clubs around the country, concerts and symphonies, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you have been single for two decades until May. You now have gotten married <laughs> again, a new bride at age 62. Tell us how you met him and about that. Well, well I've known uh, Jerry. We've been married uh, seven weeks, um, two days, and three hours now. <laughs> uh, uh, I've known him for almost 16 years now, and uh, his uh, wife, had passed away a few years ago, and uh, it just it just evolved, and it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. You I'm had developed a friendship. Having to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, you had developed a friendship with him over the years, had you not? Because uh -huh. uh, he's the widower of one of your best friends. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you were close so for probably was, many years. Well, we've been very close and and and, and far apart too at times. You know. How is but it being a new especially bride? Especially the Dodgers and Padres. How is it um, being a new bride? Well. I have to get used to all this, you know. I've been independent for so many years, and but it's it's fun. I feel like I'm uh, 14 again or 16, let's say, um, and I like it. I love it. You were the first country singer to have a crossover hit with Tennessee Waltz. That's something that everybody today is trying to do. What do you think made that popular among more people than just the country music listeners back then? Well, actually, I was I was on the pop charts and uh, took a country song and crossed it over from the pop to the country. And uh, uh, also it was crossed over to the rhythm and blues chart. And that's been done many, many times since then. But uh, luckily I was in on the beginning of it. What do you think was special about that song? What's so magical about it 40 years later? Well, I don't know. You know, it was uh, a time that uh, some people say was very passive, but uh, you know, nothing much going on. But uh, I have no idea because it's a sad song, and that wasn't a sad time in our lives, you know, 1950. It was a happy time for everyone, you know. We were out of war and was before the Korean War. And um, I just think it, you know, you never can tell what makes a song a hit. If you knew or I knew, you know, we would be trillionaires and That's <laughs> tell true. everyone, yeah. Well, the way the music is recorded today, there's so much technology involved, but I'm told that you made one of the first technological moves on one of your records with um, multiple voice recordings. Tell us about that. Yes, that was done uh, in 1947, although it didn't, wasn't released until 48, but I, I did the second voice on the record, which was the first time that had been done. Uh, Les Paul came out with the guitar, uh, double, I don't know how many guitars he played, but in his career, he played many, but on the same record that same year, but it was later. And so they've attributed that to me. I was the first one that did the voice. I read that you did the second voice because at the time you couldn't hire to hi afford to hire someone else <laughs> You're to right. do it. <laughs> You're right. So we had to pay for necessity comes that. advancement sometimes. Didn't realize what that was, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering, there must always be something in your heart after you've been on the top of the charts and had the hits. Do you still hope that there will be another one, even though it's been 20 years? Well, I guess you never stop hoping. Um, I'm still working and still singing and hopefully good. Um, and sometimes I, I know that uh, there are some people out there that would still like to uh, acquire a record for me. So I would like to be on the charts again. But if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about it. All right. Hope to see you there, though. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you, Cheryl. Bye-bye. Lou? Still ahead on this early prime, the Merry Mex is merry again today after one.